What's going on guys? Welcome back to F1 2017. Today, we are in Montreal for my home, home town race. We are currently in fifth position in the F1 Drivers Championship. We should have our new engine being fitted today. I am so pumped. Today is going to be an awesome day. New engine, hometown race. We're driving a Red Bull. Stroll is probably going to come last. This is great. Also, I thought this was an appropriate shirt to wear because it says Boost or GTFO. However, I feel like there should be like a little thing that says dot 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 unless it's F1. Shots fired. Ah, da, 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 da. Canada, man. Practice one. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. Like, if we don't win this race, I am going to be so, so mad. It's not even funny. Hey, buddy. Right. Some bad news. On Again, you're fucking... Uh, why? Remember how I was saving resource points for exactly this? You're so useless. They want 500 resource points to actually complete it. Why do you even have a job if all your upgrades just fail? Look, now we have to waste 500 stupid points on this. It's not even a major upgrade, it's a stupid minor upgrade still. Go to practice one. Here we are, live in Montreal at the Circuit Gilles Villeneuve, yes! where the teams are making fun. Yes, that sounds so cool to say. I should also be able to nail out these, 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 these practice sessions. That was really difficult to say. Now I should say, usually when I've come onto most of these tracks, it's my first time on them in F1 2017. Not the case for this one. This is the only track I actually jumped on, like straight away. This was like the first thing I did and it was amazing. All right, so track acclimatization. Let's just sort of have a nice little chill lap around the circuit. Bang in as many points as possible. Get purple, not waste any time. Get straight into quali. It really is my favorite race, this. It's just, it's special. It's a what? It's a special one for me. I have videos on the channel of where I've actually driven around here in real life. It's like, it's a, it's a park most of the time. Like off to the right is basically just grass and stuff and you can just walk around and it's just like you could just go here whenever but most of the time this the racetracks actually uses like a bicycle circ circuit I can actually give you interesting facts about this place it's cool whoa oh I got green and then that big building you see there behind the trees on the right there that's the uh, that's our casino basically that's the only one so that that's it if you go to the casino that's where you are and just like that that should be a purple lab everything's purple except for one like I said, Canada is my city. <laughs> Tire management, here we go. <laughs> I made myself laugh with my dumb joke. Yo, who's in my way? Is it actually, is that a Williams or is it a McLaren? I have set like the world's slowest lap, but I don't really care. That's fine by me. Doing a stupid track optimization, don't need to rip it. Same thing goes for the tire test. We just get to chill. Yo, I'm trying to get into the purple, but I'm actually having more trouble than I would have thought if I'm honest. I mean, one of the big saving places is definitely going to be the Wall of Champions, but it's like I, I would prefer to run through there slowly and make sure I conserve my tires rather than rip it in there and potentially kill them. All right, Grosjean, I would really appreciate it though if you just let me go past. Thank you. Going for a little overtake in practice. Thank you. Take it nice and slow, and in the purple. Yes! One attempt as well. Hell yeah. We didn't We didn't take Grosjean off. I think he went in the pits. All right, cool. Let's keep going. See? When I'm actually good at a circuit, I can do pretty well. Uh, we'll come back to fuel saving. Qualifying pace, this should only take probably one attempt. I'm trying to think what other interesting facts can I tell you about this? Oh! Oh, actually, actually an interesting fact. This entire place that we're on here, it's uh, its actually an island that the circuit's on. It's not actually in Montreal, it's like an island just off of it. Essentially, everything that we used to, to build this island was um, dirt and stuff from like the underground metro system, which is actually quite cool. So they took all of the dirt when they dug it all out. They just plopped it all here, made an island out of it, and then they built an F1 track on it. If you ever decide to pause, you can actually look through the trees on the left there, and you can see like... The downtown area, you can sort of see it straight through there. Like, right, look left there. Yeah, that's a Ferrari behind. We're gonna need to... I guess we're just gonna need to gun it. There's not really much else we can do other than try to drive as quickly as possible and get away from the Ferrari so we don't get absolutely mucked up here. Alright. This is probably just gonna be a green lap. 
We're gonna have to go for one more instead of purple one. Oh, DRS didn't open right away. Okay, then that's the end of the program and plenty of useful data. <laughs> Return to base when you can. First, did it again, first try. And I was like, that's not even a good lap. <laughs> yeah, race strategy, one attempt for each of them. <laughs> uh, other interesting facts about this circuit, that place on the left there, like I said, it's all an island, so it's water over there. Um, back when I was in college, I was invited to join a, a rowing team, and they, they practiced right there. I can't really think of anything else that's particularly interesting about this circuit. I mean, a bunch of beavers, you always see pictures every year of just beavers bolting it across the track, usually on this section right here. Or, or, or this section, you'll usually see beavers. Also, this little bridge, this Fly Emirates thing, um, that's the road that goes to the casino. It's also falling down because everything in Montreal is built like shit. In case you were wondering. Final interesting fact, there's a little beach in the middle of this place. Like, uh, it's, it's pretty cool. Yep, you can, you can go swim in the middle of the circuit. Sort of, kind of. So we just need to put our three laps in here. Shouldn't be very difficult at all. We just have to do it. And just like that, practice program complete. Let's go and try our best at doing fuel saving. So we're doing fuel saving. So it's gonna be a lot of lifting, coasting, taking our time and stuff like that. All right. Circuit Gilles Villeneuve. Can we save some fuel on you, bro? I mean, there's a lot of places on this track where you can just coast through. Like, you'll... If you're doing... If you're, like, learning to do this track, there's a lot of places where you're just gonna coast. That's just sort of what I'm gonna try and do. Ah. Uh, I'm so used to ripping it everywhere. Like, I'm almost a second green. Oh, my God. I'm in, in the red fuel-wise. How am I in the red? Ah, oh, I hate fuel saving, man. Haha, -ha, I'm back in the green. And I'm... Uh, I'm like right on the edge. I'm in the red. Veriline, don't do it, bro. Veriline, don't do it, bro. Oh, he did it, bro. Oh, he did it, bro. Goodbye, Veriline. Yo, we still can't even get anywhere near the purple. Just like lift, break, lift, in, boom. No! Not enough straight. Okay, so I'm quite near the purple now. My time's not super happy about any of this, but I think I'm doing okay. Yo, I'm in the purple. I'm in the purple. My time's green. Come on. No. 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 Coast. Yes. Oh, I did it. 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 <laughs> purple on all things. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah. The only reason I know how to do that is because I know the track super well. And I know 100% where you can get away with coasting and where you can't. Alright, off to qualifying we go. That went very well. That's a lot of resource points. Yo, look at those resource points. Oh my god, 300 resource points from practice alone. That makes up for my engine blowing up, but you know, I'm still not happy about it, Mr. Race Engineer. I'd like a new race engineer. This is not what I signed up for. If it's raining for the race, I'm just like, I'm gonna be so sad. <sighs> Seriously? Seriously? We get the hometown race, and it's the first time we're racing in the wet? Oh, <laughs> why? This is not cool. I was like, we're gonna have such an awesome race today. And I mean, we can still do it. In the wet, it's just not as fun. I can tell you rain in F1 2017 looks pretty nice. Like, I like the way it's on the road. All right, back down to lean revs. Oh my God, it's like, oh my God, it's like driving a goddamn boat. Okay, so first time in F1 2017 in the rain. Let's, uh, I mean, if there's a track where testing rain is good for me for the first time ever. It's gonna be this one. This is like a goddamn boat trip around here. It's actually like, I know we're only on inters as well, but it, it feels like a boat trip. Everyone is just driving so slowly. Back up to Rich Revs. Alonso at a 126. It's not very good. I got a 114. I mean, it wasn't the drive, but 10 seconds off the pace. That seems a bit much, but I get it. Yeah, Kvyat a 125. Yeah, these are gonna be slow times. Really, really slow times. I mean, I guess the good part is that we can do as many laps as we want. So we won't need to worry about our tires. Yeah, Rich Rev's out there. Yo, there we go. That's nice. That's some good speed. I'm noticing like a dry line forming up a little bit. So maybe what I'm going to do is bang this lap in. 
Go back into the pit, sit there. Maybe let a dry line form for a little bit longer. And then... We can come back out. Hey, I set the fastest lap at a 123.8. Alright, back to the garage. Let's see... I mean, we'll see if anyone's beaten us. I would imagine they have, because that didn't seem super fast. Yeah, I'm in third now. Bottas and Vettel both went a little quicker. So, you know what? Let's skip a little bit of time. Maybe till there's about... Yeah, Hamilton's gone quicker as well now. I feel like I could get up there with a little bit of pushing. I feel like I definitely could. We'll go out with two minutes left. Two minutes 50. I feel like that should be enough time for me to get out and set a time. All right, me. Oh, I've dropped down to sixth place now. Stroll's gone and beaten me. That's really not good. Oh, I've come out at a very good time, though. Come out with 50 seconds remaining. Yeah, I nailed that exit. I'm going to try to run in max revs for a little bit longer. I know I'm going to get some more wheel spin, but it might be beneficial. I have to just hope. So I'm still in sixth place, but I am green on my time by quite a bit, actually. So maybe, maybe we could end up on uh, the top row of the grid. That'd be pretty cool in the hometown race. Yo, we're half a second green now. Yo, this is good. This is really good. I'm using my fuel a lot so I don't get as much wheel spin as I usually would. And then when I get on the straights, I max it out. Here we go. Here we go. I want to be like a second green. Yeah, so I'm sixth and no one else is on track. So if I can better my time here, I'm going to jump some spots. Oh, that would be huge. Short line to the finish line. Short line, short line, short line, short line. That's nearly one second green. Oh my god, I think that's second place. No way, second place in qualifying. Kimi is the only one faster by 0.1 seconds. Where's Verstappen? Verstappen's 13th place. Oh, you can definitely tell. You can tell that this is my track, man. Some more good resource points from that as well. Thank you, man. That was nearly 100 resources. Yes! Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Rivalry 1. Is that an achievement? That's gotta be an achievement. It's not an achievement for, for, for that? Really? It's news to me. Anyways, race time. So, oh wow, that's actually quite a bit of rain. I don't know if we're gonna be like on wet tires for this or, or intermediates. I guess I'll let the team decide. Okay, I know it's your home Grand Prix, but treat it like any other race. Don't take unnecessary risks. No way, that's so sick. He says it's the hometown race. Okay, so we're on the intermediate tires and they want me to stay out for all 18 laps. That is fine by me. Uh, the fuel, we can actually underfuel the car because like I said, we're gonna be racing in lean revs probably the vast majority of the time so 17 laps worth of fuel should be fine i would imagine um we can always come in for a pit stop if we need you know what i'm gonna do my f1 2016 strategy i'm gonna select the two pit stop strategy however you and me just between us we're not gonna take that pit stop all right sometimes in f1 2016 that would like confuse the game and have everyone else pit anyways let's chuck the car down lean revs for this start clutch in Rev it up. And away we go for the hometown race. Kimmy is not getting good traction off the line. That is going to be me leading the Canadian Grand Prix into corner one. That is huge. That is so, so huge. Wow, there's a lot of bumping going on back there, man. I'm already stressing out, man. This is, this is not what I expected to do today. I was really hoping for a... For a dry race, wow, this track is soaked. We need to give it a couple of laps before we can really get on the power. Because you can see just how much I'm sliding around coming out of these corners. It's like, yeah, we're making a little bit of a gap to them. But we're boating around this circuit, really. When I was a little kid, actually, I used to play... I think it was an old F1 game. It might have been an old F1 game or an old, like, Moto GP game. It was one of them. Anyways, essentially, I remember racing in the rain back on those games. And the cars would shoot off such a huge spray that it used to, like, blind you when you were driving. Now, they don't really do that anymore. But in, in, in real life, I guess it's totally worse to be first, like, because you're on a completely wet track out here for at least the first lap. And it's like, you have to be the one to wade through all the water. I don't know, I thought that's interesting. Anyways, we're making a nice little gap um, to Kimmy, which is good. We go and set the fastest lap at a 130. 
We'll see how long we can keep the fastest lap. That'd be awesome if we could take it here. Wow, we're actually like pulling from Kimmy a little bit. That's awesome. We need to give this track some time to dry though. Like, I don't mean dry off because the rain's still coming down. But at least for it to build a little bit of a dry line. I don't think we're going to get one though. Nico Hulkenberg is out of the race. What happened to him? That didn't take very long. Are you the one who blew up? Is it your doing? I don't know where this this guy went. Uh, is he number 30? If so, it doesn't look like he had a big problem. Anyways, something mysterious has happened to Nico Hulkenberg. Somehow. Anyways, we're just going to continue on uh, running with this race. I'm okay with that. We'll see what the lap times are as well. Anyways, my gap to Kimi right now is a 1.2 second gap. Grosjean is out of the race as well. What the hell is going on this race? Yellow flags in sector two over there. Find the Frenchie. Oh, I see a Grosjean. I see a Grosjean. He's right there. That's probably an engine blowout. Yep. Sick job cutting across the track there too, like a dick. So we're down to 18 runners. <laughs> he just parked it in the wall. We're down to 18 runners already in this race. We're on lap two. I, I'm actually hoping we don't get a safety car because that would mean Kimmy could catch up and my gap would go away. You can sort of see the dry lines forming a little bit. Not really. 125 best lap right now. I would imagine someone's going to beat that though. Yo, oh, there we go. Purple again. That's what I like to see. Two second gap to Kimmy now. We're pulling, boys. Oh, we're pulling big time. Might be a pretty uneventful race. I apologize. I guess I'm kind of good at this circuit. Hey, I said a new fastest lap, though. 124.5. Just makes me happy that I'm actually good at this game for, like, the first time ever. Two laps until the pit window. You'll be on inters for the next stint. Thanks, race engineer. I'm not going to take that pit stop, though. I should actually tell him, like, box this lap. Right, come in at the end of this lap. See if that gets anyone. Will it confuse anyone? They're going to see the whole Red Bull crew, like, running to get their tires. And they're going to be like, what the fuck are they doing? Maybe everyone else is going to be like, okay, let's let's copy them there in first. They know what they're doing, man. 5.2 seconds to Kimmy now. Kimmy is slowing down. Tires. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. My tires are actually burning pretty quickly. We're on lap seven and we're at 26% in the rears. Let's do an all rich lap. See if we can set a good time. You know, let's just make this interesting for ourselves. <laughs> you know, we're half a second purple. <laughs> well, I mean, this is a good way to burn off our fuel. So I don't mind. That's fine for me. Yo, one, 123.7. I, I, I put in basically a second faster that lap. Competition now Raikkonen's nearly nine seconds back. Oh, note to self. Next year, put the difficulty up on this race. Hey, in 15 minutes, it's going to become light rain. No way. We might be able to up our time even more. All right. Well, I guess we'll put it down to fuel mix two now. Actually, I'm purple this lap or purple this sector, so... You know what? I'm gonna put it back up to Rich Revs and uh, try to beat my own time. Because that's what we're doing now. Oh, I'm red again. No, that's not cool. Maybe we nail it through Sector 3 and Wall of Champions. We'll be good. Did I beat my time? Hey! 123.5. Alright, back down to Lean Revs. I think someone might have pitted. Because I saw a little dot on my map. Oh, wow. Never mind. I think I'm just about to lap everyone. Yo, if I could lap someone in this race, <laughs> that'd be cool. He's right there. He's about maybe 10, 15 seconds in front. Oh, we can get him. We can totally get him. We're doing like three seconds, maybe four seconds a lot faster than he is. Oh, we can totally get him. Rich Revs, let's go. Let's get him, boys. Come on, boys. Oh, there he is. We're catching him hardcore. Yo, there's the guy. There he is. I think it's a Sauber. Someone's about to get blue flagged. For the first time in this race. Or the first time in this whole season, probably. Oh, there he is. Is that Marcus Erickson? I think it is. He's getting blue flagged. He's definitely getting blue flagged. Oh, there's the blue flag. Yo, you don't seem to be very blue flag. Oh. I don't think anyone pitted, though. No one, no one did the little... Oh, I thought I was going to confuse people and stuff. Anyways, final lap. Of the Montreal Grand Prix, Canadian Grand Prix, whatever the hell you want to call it. I have my broken wings, so I don't expect to set a super good lap time. But Rich Revs, screw it. Can I lap someone else? I don't think I'm going to be able to. I'd like to, but it's not going to happen. Ah, oh, we were close to catching him. I think that's a McLaren up there. 
Yeah, boy! High five him as we go past the pit wall. That's P1, but just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. There's a McLaren up in front. Yeah, 20 seconds. 20 seconds we won by. They're all like, what the hell just happened, man? And I'm like, thank you. Second win of the season, boys. Yep, Kimmy, you got passed. Sorry about that, bro. Stroll? What did you do? Oh, wow, there were people that stopped. What are you doing, Williams? Pitting your two drivers? They qualified 6th and 8th, and you made them finish 13th and 14th. That's sad. Wow, like, we're not the only people who barely overtook. All of these guys just overtook these two guys. And then the only reason these guys overtook was because, like, those two guys went out. So no one overtook in this whole race. Legit, the most boring race ever. Hey, I'm in fourth place now. I passed Bottas. We are now two points in front of Bottas and four points behind Kimi. Not bad. Constructors Championship. We are ooh, very far off of that. Yep, don't look at that. Anyways, that should be some good resource points, please. Can I be first driver for the team now? Give me some good resource points, bro. Some good ones. 100 resource points from that. Can we do any upgrades with that? Probably not. Wow, every team likes us again. Holy crap. That's awesome. Oh, hello. Checkpoint challenge or a race in the Williams. Or do we race the... R we're a part of Red Bull. We have to do the Red Bull race. All right, so where are we? Oh, we're in Monza. I wasn't even paying attention to the track that we were choosing. I'm just like, I see a Red Bull. I want a Red Bull. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> like this. Yeah. Wow, this breaks quickly. Oh, whoa, it turns really weird as well. It changes direction so, so quickly. Rich revs, please, around here. All right, come on. We need to do nine kilometers. I know this is a very high speed circuit, but nine kilometers is gonna be an ass. Whoa, that's bumpy. Whoa, I'm not used to this in an F1 car. Oh, I'm totally not used to this in an F1 car. Yeah, this is uh different to what I'm used to. Oh, <laughs> the way they grip. Oh, I told you I'm not used to F1 cars. It's just like, ho oh, oh, ho, around there so effortless, effortlessly. Come on, get this. Get this. Nailed it. 18 seconds. Come on. We gotta get through here fast. Don't get the speed bump. Oh, that was slow. We got a little bit of sideways there. Not good. Come on. Come on, nearly there. There was a checkpoint right here. Oh, no, it's too far. Oh, no. Oh, it was just too far. All right, we got this. We got this. Second attempt's gonna be fine. Wait, I clicked the wrong button. I wanted to retry. Well, I guess that was that. So anyways, guys, I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this video. If you did, you can subscribe down below for more. Uh, maybe next race, it might be a little bit harder. I mean, we are coming to Azerbaijan, which is always a fun one for me. I love this circuit. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! I'm just saying, retry should be the default. Just a note, Codemasters. Just saying.